Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. It's been a while since I've said that. I kind of liked that. Um, so today we are going to be talking about some of my Amazon favorites. This is a viewer request. Quite a few of you guys wanted me to do this and I actually had been compiling a little list of things that I have recently purchased on Amazon that I am loving. There is construction going on right outside my building right now so if you hear beeping and screeching and yelling and all the kind of fun construction noises, no it's not just in your head. Um, that, is a, that is a real thing happening outside my window. I feel like we don't have to really get into uh, why everyone loves Amazon. I mean, two-day shipping. They offer literally everything under the sun. And I think they're kind of just like controlling the world now. So yeah, obviously, I mean, we all like Amazon. One thing I do want to say in this video though, is that especially during this time, if you guys can support a small business, I would highly, highly recommend it. I mean, I'm a small business owner myself. I mean, Amazon ain't going nowhere. Amazon has everything. Amazon is killing it during this time, but it's small businesses that are really kind of struggling. So if you guys can support a small business, I just wanna give a big shout out to that because like I said, I am a small business owner myself. I know how we've been hit by this and I can only imagine how other businesses have also been hit. So with that being said, um, inevitably, there are some things that sometimes you just need to get on Amazon. Sometimes you just need the uh, inexpensive alternative and the quick two day shipping that Amazon has. Everything I mentioned in today's video will be listed and linked in the description box down below for you guys. So if you wanna shop any of these items, we'll have direct links for you. I guess we'll start with the one beauty type related thing that I do have in this video. It is this shampoo and conditioner. Now it's actually not this exact one, but the brand is called Lucetta. This is the brand that was actually introduced to by one of my best friends. She told me that the Lucetta shampoo and conditioner in the hot pink bottle, which is actually the one that I would recommend to you guys, that that was the best smelling shampoo she had ever smelled in her entire life. If you want a shampoo and conditioner that not just makes your hair feel good, it makes your hair feel luscious and healthy. It's not a stripping shampoo. I would definitely classify it more as a moisturizing shampoo, but oh my goodness, the scent. Even if you blow dry your hair, straighten your hair, or curl your hair, your hair will smell delicious, four days. I mean, we all know more often than not in the shower, the shampoo smells good. You come out of the shower, you can smell it a little when your hair is wet, but then by the time your hair is dry, you can't smell it at all. And then you go and curl your hair and now your hair smells like burnt hair. Not with this shampoo and conditioner. Let me tell you, your hair will smell amazing, literally no matter how much heat you put on it. It's kind of miraculous. This one is the biotin and collagen shampoo and conditioner pairing. The hot pink one I think is like a keratin one. This one smells a lot less strong than the pink one does. I'll link both of them in the description box below. If you guys are looking for a shampoo and conditioner that isn't quite as strong smelling, maybe you'll wanna go with this one. But if you're looking for something to make your hair smell delicious, go for that hot pink one. It's incredible. Recently, one of my favorite breakfasts have been to make a protein smoothie. This is the Orgain Organic Protein Powder. I got the creamy chocolate fudge flavor. Holy moly. Let me tell you guys, I have never been a big protein person because I don't like the taste of protein. You know when you get those like protein granola bars and stuff like that? I have found more often than not, they always taste just like bitter. There's an off aftertaste. They're grainy. I just, I can't stomach it. I can't stomach those protein bars ever. And I was always worried about protein powder because I was like, well, this is probably gonna have a similar like grainy texture to it. It's probably gonna have that off aftertaste. This one does not. This literally, if you blend this into a smoothie, you will make the most delicious 
chocolate milkshake smoothie. I actually just do exactly what it says, like the protein smoothie it has on the back here. You just blend two scoops of this protein powder in with one tablespoon of almond butter, one frozen banana, and almond milk. I just throw that all into a blender. It's super simple, blend it up, and oh my goodness, this is the best breakfast. It keeps you full for hours and hours and hours. And this is great. This stuff is amazing. It is also dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free, lactose-free. It's vegan, non-GMO, and there's no sugar. So basically, this is just a good protein powder. I know you can get it from Target as well. The reason I recommend that you pick it up maybe from Amazon is because you get the two pound container here for the same price as the one pound container in Target. Definitely recommend this if you guys wanna start incorporating more protein powder and stuff into your diet. This next Amazon favorite goes hand in hand with the protein powder. When I make my protein smoothies, I have been using these glass drinking straws to drink them from. These are just clear drinking straws that are actually made of glass, which I was a little bit weary about at first because I was like, oh, do I want to put like a glass straw like what if it breaks or shatters or shards of glass just just I mean I was obviously overthinking it because we use glass all the time I use an actual like glass made of glass to drink water out of on the daily I don't know why I needed to throw in that fun fact but um these have been really really nice they're really big so when I make that protein shake it is like it's a thicker shake you know so I love how kind of wide the straw opening is it's also super easy to clean this pack actually comes with eight you get four straws that have the little bend on the end if you guys can see and then you get four that are just completely straight and then the pack also comes with two of these little like wiper scrubber things you know that you can stick into the straw with some soap and really clean it out the thing i love with these clear drinking straws is that you can see right through it so when you're washing it you know that all the junk that you were drinking is all cleared out sometimes i get a little bit weary of like the stainless steel straws and stuff because even though i clean them really well i'm always a little bit sketched out to know is it actually clean all the way through and with this i mean it's totally clear you can see right through it you can see that it's 100 percent clean and yeah i really like that if you guys are big straw drinkers these are really nice they're really thick they almost feel like pyrex glass or something they're like a thick glass straw they don't feel like they're gonna break unless you drop them i'm sure they will break if you drop them but they feel very sturdy when you're actually using them so i highly highly recommend these if you guys are straw drinkers the final food related Thing. This is something that if you've watched any Amazon favorite recently, almost guaranteed you've seen this. This is the rapid egg cooker. I know seems like a waste of money but hear me out if you guys like hard-boiled eggs and you want like fresh hard-boiled eggs on the daily this is going to be the best money you ever spend on a kitchen gadget i've always been a fan of hard-boiled eggs but i'll be honest i'm not a chef not that you have to be a chef to know how to hard boil eggs but more often than not i find that i always over boil them i don't know why i just i can't get the timing of hard boiled eggs right i know you're supposed to like throw them in a pot and cold water and then boil the water and then take it off the heat and then let it cool down i don't know there's like a whole like method to hard boiling eggs i've never mastered it i've never been good at it i've tried it a handful of times i always end up with the yolk going like gray or kind of blackish because i just i just over boil them but with this it is super super simple you can hard boil up to six eggs at a time. It takes under 10 minutes from when you plug this thing in till you have your final hard boiled eggs. So it is honestly super, super convenient. This little contraption is obviously only going to be handy if you see yourself eating hard boiled eggs often, but I've been eating them pretty much every morning since I got this. I think I've definitely got my money's worth out of it. I am so happy with this and it comes in a bunch of different colors. I opted for the light yellow egg egg looking color just because I thought it was cute. I mean, it's made for eggs and this is like an eggy yellow. Like how cute is that? I know I'm not the first person to recommend this egg cooker, but if you are an egg lover, 
this is this is gonna be amazing for you the next item i want to recommend you guys look into is a fabric shaver we're getting funky in this video um this is an item that i didn't even know existed until I decided to do some digging and see if there was a way that I could bring some of my older clothes back to life. If you guys don't know, I am obsessed with Lululemon leggings. They are my entire heart and soul. I love them. The ones in particular I love are the Align leggings. I'll link them below if you guys need a good black pair of leggings. You can't get them on Amazon, but they are the best. Anyways, my one big gripe with them is that after you wear them for a while, you wear them, you wash them, especially on my inner thighs, it starts to pill pretty badly and it just doesn't it just doesn't look good obviously pilling can happen to a variety of different fabrics a lot of sweaters cashmere sweaters even so i found this on amazon you turn this thing on you run it over the fabric in circular motions Let me see if i can show you guys this there are blades so when you turn this on the blades spin really really fast and then the little bally pilly parts go into here and then the blades shave it off. Hence, fabric shaver, such a simple concept. Don't know why I had to go into that so detailed. And let me tell you guys, it works so well. I have brought back life into so many of the clothing items in my closet because of this. I mean, those Lululemon leggings, I'll just run this on the inner thigh area and it gets rid of all the pills it's mind-blowing that you can take a really old ratty looking sweater because it's got all the little pills and balls all over it run this over it and it looks brand new okay and my final recommendation for you guys this is gonna be this is the splurgy splurge one of this video and it's something that i was kind of iffy about to begin with but I'll tell you guys, I've got so much use out of this, especially during this quarantine time, and that is my Kindle. This is my Kindle Paperwhite, and honestly, I was iffy about getting this because I didn't really think I would get the use out of it to justify the price. I kind of go into in and out reading spurts. Like sometimes I'll read a bunch of books and I just do it one after the other and I'm in such a reading mood. And then I'll go months without reading anything, even like a news article. But my brother was actually the one to convince me to get this. He's had his Kindle Paperwhite for, oh boy, at least three years maybe even a little bit longer. He brings it on trips with him. He's a book person. There was an Amazon store we were at and the Kindle Paperwhites actually happened to be on sale that day. And I told him, I was like, do you think I should get one? And he was like, honestly, just get it. You'll realize how much more you will want to read when you have this. And he was 100% right. I love opening up a physical book. I love the smell of a physical book. I just, I love a book but books can get heavy books can get expensive books can get space consuming and a kindle just eliminates all of that it eliminates the weight of a book it eliminates the clutter that excess books can create you can store thousands of books on this thing and it obviously still just takes up the same amount of room. I love that on this model, you can adjust obviously the brightness settings. You can also adjust the font, like the font type, the font size. It'll tell you like in the bottom corner what page you're on and how many minutes you have left in the chapter and how many minutes you have left in the book. Just depending on your reading speed, it kind of calculates that, which I think is just really cool. I know I'm so late to this train. I'm sure so many of you guys either already have a Kindle or already know about them, but I didn't know all the cool features that a Kindle actually had on it. The biggest reason I didn't want to get a Kindle is because I didn't want to invest in an electronic device and then have to also purchase the online like Kindle books. Because if you guys have noticed, a lot of times the Kindle online books are even more expensive than purchasing the physical books. My brother told me about this program that if you can find the book in an online PDF version, this program on your computer will actually convert the PDF version of the books into a Kindle version. 
I'll go ahead and put the name of that software down below. It's a free software you can get online. Oh, and one other thing, I also recommend you guys get a Kindle cover as well. The covers, they just look like this. They just, you know, flip to the back. They're like magnetic here, so it holds open. I don't have a screen protector or anything on the face of my Kindle, but because this case does flip over and protect the front of your screen. It makes it super easy to travel with. It's very compact and it just feels more hardy. It's like putting a case on your phone. I feel like most people put a case on their phone. So I definitely recommend you case your Kindle as well. Okay, Shawnee, you need to be done talking about the Kindle. Definitely recommend, recommend all of these products. Like I said, I will have links to purchase everything I mentioned in this video down in the description box below. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs thumbs up because that lets me know as well as YouTube know that my channel is legit and I'm trying to put out good content and it helps recommend my video to other people. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate your support. Please leave me video suggestions in the comments down below as well and I will talk to you guys in my next video very very soon. I'll see you then. Bye!